Hey guys, ah, uh, look, that's all I got to say. Vote, register, vote. You can vote early. You can vote by mail. Vote safely. Just vote, please. All right, printmaking. So two types we're going to look at. Relief is the ink on top. You carve away what's not to be printed. Intaglio is ink in incised lines. So intaglio, ink in incised lines. And I will show you both of these. So here is me working um, in the on a press. And so... I was broke. I was a grad student, so I used these old paper bags instead of some like hootie tooty, you know, expensive paper because I couldn't. But you roll out the ink, that's where that black is, and there's a roller up top left, and you make it till it makes this sound that's on glass, and it makes this certain sound, you know, it's ready. You have to ink each print as you run it through the press, which is on the right hand side. You can see, and it squishes, squishes. You do wet paper, blah, blah, blah. All right. So, with printmaking, multiples would be made. So, paper was still expensive, but it, with the printing press uh, that Gutenberg invented in the 1400s, they could make multiples of their art and more people could afford it identifying a print if you ever see one that says a p that means artist proof that's the one they ran first to see if they needed to tweak it anyway if you get an a p that's the only one like that then you'll see other ones that will have a fraction at the bottom like let's say they made 10 so one of ten, two of ten, and they do each one in order. And you'll see this on posters like Jazz Fest posters that sell for, you know, freaking 700 bucks or whatever. Um, and so the more it goes through the press, is it, the more it loses, like, its intensity, its detail, blah, 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 right? Because you're, like, squishing it under this metal thing that you turn this giant wheel like a ship's wheel okay so anyway that's the way i identify it you'll see that at the bottom there's relief in talio lithography and screen printing all right elizabeth catlett's sharecropper here is a relief it's also hatching and so in this she cut like and made all those little lines where you see the where the ink is not supposed to go, where the white is. And she cut it all and made it where when you run it through, she ran it through several times because it's got multiple colors. That's only black that she used um, in the areas you see that looks like gray. It's just that the different lines. Anyway, I just love this thing. Okay. Here you go. Relief. Ignore the test part. I'm not doing that right now. Um, print, printing, print technique, ink on top. So you carve away what you don't want to be printed, like a rubber stamp. So he made the stamp on the left, and then he inked it up. And on the right, that's what you get. So you carve away everything you don't want. So you can use linoleum. You can use wood. Here's a woodcut. This is just really sad to me. To me, printmaking evokes emotion. That's personal. That's my opinion. Um, like Elizabeth Catlett's sharecropper. And then this one. Lord. All right. So again, here we have a wood block. So there's the wood block. And he would put the ink on and run it through the press on the paper. And then you see the image on the right. And he was pretty much a master at printmaking. So here was a poster or whatever that Vincent Van Gogh saw. And he loved it. And of course, this is now in the time period 
where people are being able to travel more. It's easier to get to places and to see influences from like Asia to Europe, blah, blah, blah. So he sees this and he says, oh my God, and he makes this. Now, some people could say plagiarism or some could say the highest form of flattery. That's an opinion. However you feel is fine. He did give him props for, you know. So here is a Japanese print. And Mary Cassatt made this after she saw it. This, every single little white part you see, even though it looks like it's gray or the grayscale, it's not. It is just black and white, but he cut away. And whether you make the lines closer together or further apart is how you can make that. So here we go. This is a wood engraving. It's just black ink. It is only eight by four inches. And he sat and made each one of those little lines cut, those cuts to make this print. So a lot of people say, oh, what's the big deal about this? But if you really check it out, it's like mind blowing. <laughs> this is something you have to run through the press uh, four to five times. It is not easy. Oh my God. And you keep, anyway, it's involved. Relief on the left, intaglio on the right. So intaglio, the ink goes in the incised lines. It's a peed up, pain in the ass. All right. So you cut the grooves, you ink it, and you got to clean the top. Then you run it and you damp your paper and it pushes in here to where the ink is in the incised lines. Intaglio. Here's different things. And I can't even. Like this is dry point, fourth state. So that means it ran through four times. It's going to just wear down um, easily going through the press. Mary Cassatt. Typolo, um, each one of those lines cut, the ink is pushed in there and then cleaned off. Same with Rembrandt. I'm telling you, geez, man, he could just do anything. Kathy Colwitz, now this is before this happened, but she lost her son in World War I and her grandson in World War II. She just had a rough life man <clears throat> I just think this is a really interesting print um, and it's lithography and it's just blows my mind anyway so here we can kind of see what happens so you get this like really nice paper it's got this texture to it remember we talked about tooth and drawing but he decided not to put any ink so he wet the paper he ran it through with his on the plate. So where you see the smooth part on the inside, I'm pointing at this like y'all could see me. Jeez. Is where the plate was and then the incised lines. So, I mean, it actually has texture. You can feel it. It pushes into the plate. So this I like because it kind of gives you that definition of what happens. This was for a newspaper, and he got in a lot of trouble for it, but whatever, man. You get in trouble for your art. It's good. Ah, uh, I just think it's hilarious. Now it's not so funny because of the freaking crazy neo-Nazis. Anyway, I will, I will not start screaming about these crazy people. All right, this is, um, I don't know, <laughs> screen printing. You either have, like on your t-shirts, they're either going to be iron-on or screen printed. And <clears throat> what Warhol did was talking about pop culture and everything. So he made these boxes and he printed and screen printed each one of these to look exactly. He did the soup can. Looks exactly like soup can. 
Oh, uh, this is a lithograph. It's drawing on stone. This is called accident, and I really hope so. Here's screen printing. Now, this is a monotype. What happens with this is it mono one. You only get one of these. So you have to start backwards. So they started with the tail of the horse, the purple, then they put the gold, and then they put the background. And then you just run it. You do it like on glass or plexiglass, and then you can put all kind of stuff in it, like collage, and then you run it through, and that's it. You get one. All right. Peace.